Hi, Mum. I just managed to get home from work and I thought I'd quickly do a video of the garden. I was doing a few videos of the garden a few months back. <laughs> then, uh, well, I hadn't, I was due to. So there's no ability to see how much it's changed. It was pretty overgrown. Luckily it survived, because we had some people watering it. Look at the swan plants, they're a bit close together. I planned to, um, I planned to spread them out, plant them out. And there is, oh excuse me, that's my, uh, the Coomera, the sweet potato. It's, um, I don't know, don't know how good it's gonna be in there. Looks healthy enough. It's starting to go a little bit yellow. And I think it's been watered enough. It's not that deep in there, which is probably a good thing. Zucchini looks like it's, uh, ooh, is that one gonna, is that one gonna survive? I'd better pick those ones that look like it had, hadn't really been liking it for a little while. I don't think it's produced a proper zucchini as yet. Probably a good thing, otherwise it would have been rotting. Unless, unless they did pick one, but it had some that had not been pollinated. those ones. Uh, beetroot. Beetroot looks overdone. There's, there's a few there. Good. I've been pulling a few out. But yeah, I think it might be a bit old almost. And the, um, the yellow beetroot looks like it never, some of it's grown. Some, oh, that's, that one's out. That one's out of the ground. Um, yeah. Still, I wasn't here. And the same with the beans, the beans never got um, looked after. Never got picked, so they died. The um, chicory, or oh, were they endives? Planted some lettuce seedlings over there last night. Comfrey, that's some um, hand-me-down spinach over there that's still going all right. It, that's a uh, permanent, whatever you call it, I guess, perpetual, old-fashioned. Some of the original buckets there of stuff. Um, yeah, there, some beetroot. Mm beetroot over there. They're probably, I'd say that they're old as well. I don't actually know, haven't worked that one out whether you can leave them in. This was some, there's some spearmint and a uh, cardoon. There's some yeah, calendula. Several different I was actually right in that spot there, I was dropping seedling trays of microgreens and I just ripped that up and shifted it. So I put some more stuff in there. But yeah, those beans, they would have, they would have been a lot happier with some care. They did have some beans on there, but um, yeah, they're a bit slow and probably should have been picked because they like to be picked, day eh? and they keep growing. Corn, there's some dead corn up there. I think that was the. Uh, I have no idea actually. Maybe that's a sign. Yep, not too good at labelling, but there's a difference in that colour. And you can't really tell, that's purpley. But one's an Aztec corn, a grain corn that you drop, leave to dry on the. Stalk and now there's sweet corn, but 
and I think this is the grain corn here and there's more of the sweet corn from memory. It's all a bit of a blur. Some carrots down there, a few stray carrots. And I planted, I've thrown some seeds around under them there. Another cardoon, another cardoon. Planted some basil into there. Uh, parsley, parsley. Peas that are just growing out of the straw. More carrots over there. I'm going to want to finish this row or maybe go over there, but it's still not that deep. So those ones are Paris Market shallow carrots. Sunflowers. I've forgotten completely about the sunflowers that I'd planted them even. So that was a good surprise. They seem to have shrunk. The tallest ones have started to droop. And I don't know what's happening with these. Hopefully they'll catch up. Um, some have taken off, some haven't. That's what they do, eh? They're, they're hungry. they survival of the fittest. Yeah, got, a, got some spots to put stuff in, though. I've had a big old seed sowing effort. And a, a dill. I think it's a dill. Uh, it's a fin. It's a dill. Where is it? I forget. Well, I had a fennel and a dill, but uh, not that it's much different. Strawberries. There was a few on there, but they haven't been looked after. A basil. That's a pine nut. It might be a. Uh, I don't really know what that is over there, a blackberry or something that sprung up. And that's another cardoon. The worm farm that's not been used yet, it's just sat there. There was lupin, raspberry, cardoon. I forget what that is, I forget what that is. And the swamp plant. Cape Gooseberry, a weed, pumpkin, we got a pink pumpkin in there. There's my compost, I just got um, another about 200, hmm? 200, might have been 180, 200 litres of coffee ground. So it's like six or eight of, no, ten of those, uh, yeah, nine of those or something like these. Nine of these 20 litre buckets. I've thrown a lot of stuff in there in the last few days. Left that sam unopened salmon there to cook a bit. Hopefully it means that the, I can bury it. Oh, it won't get, nobody will want to eat it like no rodents. Who knows? Cardoon, cardoon, cardoons. Uh, you can eat this cardoon, you can eat the um, stalk like a, I think it's sort of like a cabbage spinachy type end result. But it's a bit like rhubarb and it, it likes to be blanched in a way where if you're going to harvest the whole plant you actually wrap the base in paper or something like that. But the flower, it's an artichoke thistle. So in the second year, you get this flower come up, and the plant's nice and healthy. And the time I saw it was when it was under a tree like that. It, it's a big thistle, the si size of your hand, and sometimes five, three of them on a stalk, and it can be seven foot, eight foot, something like that. Yeah. Oh, it's, got, it's 10 minutes. 10 minutes of rambling. Uh, so I got, I thought I'd try and quickly plant some tomatoes. See how far they get. Try them there. 
There's my Manuka and Kanaka seedlings that I planted that are surviving. I'm not too sure if to leave them right where they are or put them in shade. Some of them I might actually move because they're a bit tiny. A bit tiny. Blueberries are a bit. Um, come on, move around. It's, the camera's neat. The camera's a bit slow and it, it's better just to do this than I think than it does a little button which will spin it round fast. But give you a whiplash. Yeah, I've got blueberries here. These need fixing. Rosemary's, herbs, banana, got a bit of banana plant. That was only um, about that high when I got it, I think. Yeah. Well, maybe about that high. So it's tripled its size. And blueberries, ooh, look. Uh, I don't know what happened to the lemon, I think it got le left. And it's a bit of a shallow, it's a little bit shallow, but it's shooting away. Maybe it got eaten. I don't think anything ate, ate the old lemons, but I'm thinking it got dry and it's a shallow pot. So that's going to get potted up soon. This really, I um, don't know whether to put this fella into the banana into the ground or just leave it. It's not my place, I'm just really trying to, but I thought I'd. Some of, it, some of these I'm sort of growing on. The fig's got a bit of something, a bit of speckle. Anyone here um, know what a fig speckle is? What, is? what the fig is that? And raspberry, it, yeah, it's, I might move that as well. It's maybe too hot. I've got some yams there. Um, that I just put in there from found that I'd put I'd bought from the supermarket and then hadn't got around to planting them. Uh, got to cola, this is a good thing, eh? It's it's sitting in water pretty much. It's an aquatic, semi-aquatic, you can can be aquatic well it is aquatic, but you can have it outside in the shade on the I mean on land. To an extent, it can be indoors. Uh, melon, tri melon, late melons, blueberry. And, uh, uh, I'm happy to do this. Look. Oh, the water's warm. Gee. Got some um, plants to plant, planty. Plant the plants in the garden. I can't help myself, I planted some seeds, but I thought just get look at those, see? Airlocks. Donk! Um, I've got a little bit of fertiliser in this water, because you can, you can sort of Um, leach it out, eh? Leach out all the nutrients while you're dunking and hydrating. Leach. Mm. Gone through and done all of these pots, even though they've been watered. I don't know how, how well, how regularly. They're still okay. There's supposed to be water bank, you know, water shortages. Got to be careful. Oh, look at see this. Mm -hmm. I hadn't done these ones. These, it was getting dark. I just put them in the, put them over here. Sort of in the shade, but it's not really. It's in the little hot spot. <laughs> It's sort of, sort of in the shade, but it's not. It's actually completely the opposite of that. But I had them in this little, behind the wall there, in the shadow. I was worried that the lawnmower man was going to come and spread his seed all through. So 
that's why I put the pins. Okay, I'm going to do this spinny thing and give you a whiplash. Yeah, it's... I don't know enough. I might move these two. There's my little seedlings. Um, might be two. But yeah, I had them on the ground here. I'm just going to cover them, but yeah. He's going to come and mow the lawn, so then I'll have a cry courier. Ooh. In the Kakuri and your plants. Let's dunk this one while we're at it. It's a Nico. And some rocks in it that we picked up in the last couple of months on the beach and on the mountain too. Anyway. Um, yeah, okay, look, I think it was as good as it was going to get, little garlic. So, and some more of those tomatoes, cheap tomatoes, bought ones. And some peas that I want to plant soon, soon as well. Right, okay, that's that. That's the exciting world of the garden. It's not it's doing alright for having this being bare grass. Um, whenever it was last year, must have been June, May, I can't remember. Um, and some, this is, not this one's really recent. And um, I'm kind of just building, getting soil. I'm making soil and growing some plants in it while I'm waiting for the soil to be made. Cause, um, it's, it's a bit deeper. It's a bit deeper over there, but this is really only just, you know, uh, 4 inches, that's probably only about 4 inches, 6 inches, whereas over there we're up to uh, 8, up to 8 or something, but yeah I want to build it up a bit, high, a bit higher than it is, and it's sitting on tarpaulins, with, but it can, it can leak, so it's not a, not a paddling pool, but I hope that would keep it dry, I mean keep it keep it wetter, keep it irrigated, but it's, um, the soil's so bad underneath that I, I didn't even bother for now, I just wanted to make a big pile on the top 